All right, first day under 100 degrees outside. I'm gonna take advantage of it. I'm gonna start tearing this thing down. I'm trying to get the fluids drained out, get it up on jack stands. Start getting going on here, but last time seeing it in one piece for now. And let's get it. Tearing the KA out, beautiful weather. Nice day to wrench. Posted up the turbo kit. Try to get this thing out by the end of the day. Get a nice clean slate for the SR. Maybe do some engine bay paint again. <laughs> All right, you know what it's time to do? We gotta put another flip-flop engine pole on my resume right now. Back in the garage again today. Wanted to show this real quick. Working on the core support. This thing's a little rippled up right here. It was pushed back like four inches when I first got the car. I pulled it forward, but um, got the front end of line up pretty good, but it's got a bunch of crinkles right here. It's been smashed right here a little bit. So ended up finding a pretty good deal on a new one. And so we're gonna get this thing spot weld it out tackle the new one on maybe repaint the engine bay all that good stuff but check this out it's right there right there the main vertical points and this thing came out a lot easier than i thought so start getting going on this thing it's a nice sunday morning here Look at this man's oh. Let's go Sunday morning. Damn, man. Nope. Damn. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Up. See what yeah. we got. <laughs> Let's go. Yes. Glove. Yeah. I'm sure. Yeah. Once he, you know, bolts down a few bolts. Day three, we got some primer going on here, the core support, got a little taped off right here. Yesterday, we just did some final adjustments on the alignment on it and everything. Got it all nice and prepped up, ready to roll. Gonna do some weld through primer right now. First test fit, let's see it. Sheesh. 
cheap. Nice. Oh, man. This thing has never went together this good before. Yeah, man. <laughs> just wanted to show this really quick too. Check this out. 180SX bumper beam. You don't have to do any cutting with the US crash beam. Normally they have this big extra support right here. And it also doesn't have the the full box on the back of it. So this one's probably not as sturdy, but fits the bumper properly that we're working with here. So I just thought that was pretty cool. All right, starting back up on this fine Sunday morning. We're gonna start prepping the engine bay again and get this thing back down. We figured out what color we wanna do on the outside of the car, so we think a white engine bay with the color that we wanna do. We did a good self-etching primer underneath this black the first time. Obviously got the new core support on here now. So we're gonna start sanding this thing down with the red Scotch-Brite pads, get it nice and ready to go, mask everything off and shoot it. Let's get going. Another fine Sunday morning out here. Just got first coat of paint on the engine bay. It's coming out pretty good. Uh, maybe do one or two more coats. We got the little brackets going. Hopefully it gets a little bit warmer outside, but let's roll. Well, tried to rattle can this thing again and ended up getting some chemical reaction around this area. So I sanded it back down and it's time to send it over to Joe's house. We're gonna do a real spray job on this thing now so we're gonna do 2k epoxy primer 2k clear we're gonna do it legit maybe this was a blessing in disguise and next time you see this thing it's gonna be all nice and ready for the motor to go in what's up 